you just visiting Lala? No. <laughs> I live here now. So you're taking over La Chinita then? Yeah, it's called Vida now. Just Vida. Swanky Insta Famous Lounge. We're gonna need to buck up if this is gonna work. I'm ready to buck. Good. If this building doesn't start making money, Nelson forecloses on us. They want to make it less diving and more sleek. Mexicans, we don't usually do things that way around here. I am Mexican. Oh, you could have fooled me. Look, Emma, you pass. When you find the right person, you realize you don't have to change anything about yourself. We wanted to say something. We were a detour, Lynn. Do you feel like you got your shit together? Fuck yeah. I'm operating on chingona level. I need to be here for the girls. Damn, she looks like a baby drag queen. We got the boot on the blood. Hi everyone, Cody over here with Hollywood First Look Features, and I'm at season two's premiere of Stars Vita. I talked to the cast members about how being on this show has impacted their lives. Let's take a first look. Ooh, Emma's taught me a lot. I mean, even something as simple as walking into the room, the way Emma walks into the room, uh, is something that I had to work on. You know, just really walk in unapologetic for your space. And just even to the point that maybe like people get offended, but you're like, I don't care. I'm not offended. Uh, and that's been something that's been a really beautiful journey for like, just like a weird therapeutic practice. Just be like, walk in the space and don't apologize, not even one minute. And if someone gets offended, then maybe apologize later, but like probably not. But I would hopefully, hopefully she'll learn. Uh, so that's been really amazing. And then I think just on a personal level, uh, I mean, this is one of the first TV things that I get to do. And getting to lead a show like this um, and having Tanya entrust such a multi-layered and, and delicate but yet strong character, uh, I... I am grateful for, to her and Stars and Marta Fernandez and Big Beach and all the people that, that came into making that decision. I'm, I'm grateful because um, it, it allowed me to be challenged and find bigger, stretch me out of my comfort zone. So. I love it. Um, I mean, I, it has definitely taught me a lot. Playing Lynn and being in her skin and being having to play a woman that's so confident in her sexuality and is not unafraid to like experiment and just go places has taught me a lot about myself and my comfort with my own body um, but then as a whole being a part of the show has been the most amazing experience in my life and being with these people that are so amazingly talented but they're also great human beings and getting to tell this story that means so much not only to us but to like so many people in our community and in other communities that is just a gift. It's a real blessing. I think um, shows like this and like opportunities like this don't come a lot. So and not I'm, too many either. No, yeah. So I'm just really grateful, and I am glad that we get to share a season two with the world. And I hope that we get a season three so that we can continue telling the story. Tell us a little bit how you feel about the reaction to the fans for season one. It's humbling because as an actor you get excited to book a job but getting to book something like this and, and really bring to life, be one tiny piece truly, of bringing to life these stories and these stories told from our point of view that are just such beautiful stories about love and identity and belonging. Uh, it's, it's really great because I think a lot of the fans and uh, just, I don't know, I feel like they feel seen. Moving from season one to season two, what was probably the biggest challenge that you faced? I think the biggest challenge was me. Um, I doubted that I could I do it again, you know. So I was I got in my way a lot the, at the beginning of the season, and then when I got out of my way, I was like, hold on, it's just nine days after we left them for a season, just nine days. You just have to like be, stay true to that. Because, you know, not a lot can happen in nine days and a ton can. So, I, yeah, when I got back to the, the truth of that, then we got back on track. But I, I you know, I, I was a first time showrunner for yeah, a season. So, glad. thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget that season two of Stars Vita premieres on May 26th. For Hollywood First Look Features, I'm Corey Tske. See you next time. This wall is your bar. This says this is a safe space. Help me shape this place.
Now it's gonna be iconic.